So maybe we can start by uh, talking a little bit about your leadership in the ACO, uh, the Louisiana Physicians ACO. Um, how big is it? How many patients? How many physicians? Give us a little description of the volume to value journey. We have about 10,000 Medicare beneficiaries attributed and a similar number of um, in our leading commercial group. Well, right now, we've got five major clinics and five EHRs. So, and how important, uh, in general, how important is data to accomplishing your, your, your volume to value journey? One of the big challenges, of course, with running a network across the state is we, we do not have a unified EHR. And we also, because we're independent clinics, not hospital systems, we don't have a direct feed to the hospital's ADT feeds, other challenges like that. So how, how does Innovacer help with, with that? So Innovacer is helping us because they've got, our, they've got our data warehouse, they've got a data lake and our feeds coming in from Medicare. Um, also, they're linked into our EHRs they somehow figure out how to get into the back of the EHR system, like if you're digging around the back of a computer, and are able to pull data feeds from claims as well as other feeds from uh, the national laboratories, also medications uh, through their like SureScript feeds. And by doing that, we're able to get a really good view of what's going on with the patient, what are their medicines, what, what's going on with their lab work, what other physicians are seeing, what other diagnoses are being managed that the primary care doctor may not be aware of. Let's get to wellness for just a minute, and, and, I, and not, not just primary um, prevention, but secondary prevention. T tell me how Innovacer actually helps predict uh, which patients or which patient cohorts are most in need of intervention before they end up in the emergency room or before they end up in the acute care facility. How does that, how does that substantively work through Innovacer? So Innovacer uses a set of analytics that will look at claims data, pharmacy data, diagnoses, and can predict who are your patients with rising risk. They can look at patients who have just started going to the emergency room who in the previous year had not ever gone to the emergency room and that will flag the patient. So, so Josh, it's my, you know, it's my memory uh, that, uh, that transactional EHRs really are not able alone to do the kind of outlier analysis that we're talking, that has been enabled by Innovacer. Is that correct? Is that your experience? Right. The EHR system, think of it as a bookshelf. Right. Um, or and a pipe. Or a pipe. Or a pipe, right. Um, and like, if you go to a library, you need the card catalog. You have to be able to look things up. Innovacer software allows us to literally look things up. We're able to look across the network, by physician, by clinic, by region. We're able to evaluate where we're missing out on um, wellness activity or where certain diseases are more prevalent or where the management of those diseases is less cost effective. One of the best areas in value-based care for helping the patients is improving that transition out of the hospital. So Innovacer is helpful in that regards by having the ADT feeds that can come straight into our EHR. So when you, when you see that a patient has been a high utilizer, um, do you, you design your, your caregiving programs around that and change how, you know, how to intercede based on those data? So when we've identified a group of patients who, let's say they're more, more frequent flyers through the emergency room, people who are going to the emergency room for things that are not necessarily um, hospital level care, um, we're able to identify those patients and, identif and then try and figure out what intervention would be helpful? So Innovacer has this powerful suite of tools, and for now, we are trying to catch up to their, to their capabilities. Our goal really is just to get it implemented across our network, ac across each physician. Right now, there's more tools, more analytics, more reports than anyone actually could possibly use. 
but can we get the basics done right across the system? That's our goal. Josh, it's really, it's really great to meet Thanks, you. Glenn. Thanks so much for your time. Keep up the great work.